Alrighty, everybody. Week 14. I know, right? We made it all the way to December. Now we're in the final month of the season. And now things are looking a lot more interesting than they did a couple weeks ago. Because initially I thought this week was going to be pretty rough as far as what games were going to be offered. But now things have gotten a lot more interesting. We start tonight. That's right, tonight. Because I'm recording this video today. It is Thursday, and tonight's matchup on Thursday Night Football will be the Patriots and the Rams, baby. That's right. So, Patriots, Rams, going to be really interesting to see. You know, the Rams have been doing good things lately, and the Patriots are getting themselves back in the playoff when Patriots win this game. They'll be getting closer and closer to that maybe potentially number seven seed. At this time, but the Rams, they're trying to, you know, get the NFC West, you know, and keep it to themselves. And if they can win this game, you know, strong defense as it's been, you know, J Jared Goff and company doing just enough on offense. I think it'll be fine. But the Patriots haven't seen these guys play in a couple of weeks. I will see them tonight. So I'm wondering how in the world has this team transformed from a what two win team to now a six and six 500 team i don't know how in the world this is happening but hey the patriots yeah, yeah it's not dead it's not the the dynasty is not dead until it's completely dead and it's not dead yet titans jags as we move to sunday nothing really to see here titans should bounce back the jags are not good they're, they're not good at all. Eliminated from playoff contention. It doesn't really matter. Vikings, Bucks has also gotten interesting now. Bucks are in a dangerous situation now to where they could, you know, just fall, you know, maybe to seventh or even completely out of playoff picture by Sunday's end for the time being anyway. If they lose to the Vikings who have basically resurged, I don't know what in the world has happened. With the Minnesota Vikings, but they have quietly gotten back into the mix. And they currently hold the number seven seed in the NFC. Chiefs Dolphins is going to be very interesting. It's Tua. It's Patrick Mahomes. I mean, it'll be one hell of a game. Honestly, the best game of the noon slate. To be completely honest, with the Broncos Panthers, neither of these teams are really playing for anything. I mean, the Panthers are still technically. In the NFC playoff hunt, and so are the Broncos. They're in the AFC playoff hunt as well. Both these teams are pretty much eliminated from playoff contention anyway. There's nothing really to talk about here. Texans, Bears. Bears need to win this game against the Texans. And the Bears have lost, what, six straight games now? I mean, th this game honestly means nothing too much either. But it could be crazy, you know, like it has been the last few weeks with games involving the Texans. Um, Cowboys, Bengals. Yeah, my Dallas Cowboys suck. And uh, we, we are bringing, you know, we are going on the road to Cincinnati. Uh, nothing really to talk about here. This game is not going to be good. Uh, the Cowboys win. They keep pace with the Giants and the football team in the NFC East. Speaking of the NFC East, let's talk about the Giants. They lead the NFC East by, by tiebreaker, and the Cardinals are struggling right now. They are struggling. When when Cliff Kingsbury can't call the plays that he needs to call, when Kyler Murray can't play well, when the receivers can't play well, when the backfield just can't get anything going, it's a recipe for success for the Giants, who have Colt McCoy and Alfred Morris. I'm not sure when. Daniel Jones is coming back, but the Giants are in prime position to make the playoffs. And if they can, you know, keep racking up victories, they'll get to the promised land once again. And we'll have another, you know, non-repeat champ in the NFC East. So there's that, you know, it's just a lot of interesting games at noon, you know, but the best one is Chiefs Dolphins, you know, Chiefs. They lead the AFC right now. The Dolphins are looking for a big-time victory, honestly. You know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be very fun. 
a lot of nothing as we get to the three o'clock slate. A lot, really, just a lot of nothing. You know, I mean, it's it's like the Jets are taking on the Seahawks. Seahawks lost to the Giants last week, and the Jets. Uh, the Jets. They 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 they, they fired the defensive coordinator Greg Williams early on. You know this week, and I mean the Seahawks. They just need a victory. They need to keep. They need to keep it up. They need to keep these W's up. You know everything like that. If they keep this up, I mean, come on, come on, Seahawks. You gotta play. You gotta. You gotta start playing. This it's crunch time. You could fall. The, the Seahawks could easily fall from like maybe a one. Two, three seed to like a seven seed in a matter of minutes. You gotta, you gotta play. You gotta get it going. Get the offense going. There's no way. There's no way we should not be talking. You know, you know, you know hey, the, these Seahawks are good when you have performances like that last week. You know, you you gotta step it up, and this is a great opportunity to step it up. The Packers are taking on the Lions. I'm pretty sure Devontae Adams is going to go off. Either him or Eric Jones are going to go off with the Lions. Lions have sneaked their way back into the playoff pitch, but I don't think they'll do anything you know, with it. Even though they are taking on the Packers at home, I think the Packers will win this game. That's, that's just me. Uh, Chargers, Falcons, nothing really to see here. This game has really no implications on anything. But, you know, maybe draft positioning and stuff like that. I mean, the Chargers are just a painful team to watch. And the Falcons are also a painful team to watch. So, I mean, it's just like, oh, yeah. Uh, the football team is taking on the struggling 49ers. And the football team, if the Giants lose and they win, you know, Washington will have sole possession of first place in the NFC East at this time. So... You know, Washington's looking resurgent with Alex Smith at the helm. And I'm just wondering, you know, how in the world will this game go? Because, I mean, come on. It's a football team. They have no name. They beat the Steelers. And, and, I mean, it's just like, whoa, man. Whoa. What do you mean? I mean, it's just crazy to see, you know, what in the world's happened with, with the football team and the Giants over the past few weeks. Just been crazy stuff as an NFC East fan. Meanwhile, the number one seed in the NFC, you know, the it's either them or the Packers, but the Saints have locked up a playoff berth already, and they're taking on the Eagles, who just look horrid. Jalen Hurts is the starter for the Eagles. And, um, well... Not much to say here. I mean, the Eagles should get curb stomped. It should be a bloodbath. I'm not sure if Drew Brees is coming back this week or not. If to, if not, it doesn't really matter. I think the Saints will beat the Eagles easily. That That's pretty easy to say. But the best game in this time slot is the Indianapolis Colts. You know who... Struggle at times. They struggle at times against the Las Vegas Raiders, Raiders who got a scare of a lifetime last week. We're talking the biggest scare of the season last week against the Jets. And it, the, the Raiders better be lucky that, that Henry Ruggs caught that ball in a cover zero coverage, you know, sent by the Jets. They better be lucky. But the Raiders, Colts, both these teams have something to prove. And... It's going to be a fun game. I can guarantee you that Derek Carr, Phillip Rivers, going to be one fun matchup. Both these teams, you know, look pretty good, you know, on both sides of the ball. It's going to be fun. And, well, not last, but the biggest matchup of the week is Josh Allen and the Bills taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh is going on the road. They have struggled a lot lately. They lost their first game of the season last week. You know, the 72 Dolphins are popping their champagne bottles right now. And the Bills are flying high. They have won, you know, a lot. They have done a lot this year. And they continue to win. They continue to make plays. And everybody is just eating on the Bills, you know, both offense and defense. So if the Steelers struggle again, look, look out. The Bills are coming for that two seed. They're coming for that two seed at least. Now, normally, 
you know, the two seed mean, hey, you get a bye. But now, since we have the 14-team playoff, you know, the Bills will probably play somebody else um, instead. But the Steelers just do not, they, they have not looked like a team that can finish off games. They have not looked like a team that can blow out opponents. They have not looked like a team that has the talent that they have. And if the Bills capitalize on all of that, I think they will win this game. So, last but not least, the Browns. Very surprising Browns. You know, it's been a surprise all year. They are they are a nine-win team now. They're going to finish over 500. And if they beat the Ravens on Monday night, I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you, they will have the playoff spot locked up. And the Ravens themselves are kind of, they're in a weird position where they've been struggling, you know, as well. You don't you don't get any points for beating the Cowboys last week. You really don't because we suck. Uh, but the Ravens have to prove themselves. Lamar Jackson and company have to prove themselves, you know. And, I mean, it's been a sluggish time for the Ravens not when not playing NFC East teams. It's been a sluggish time for them. So they got they got to get it together this week against the Browns. So with that being said, everybody, that's week 14. That's my preview. That's how things are gonna go. Um, I'm thinking you know it's gonna be another long Sunday afternoon, and of course you know Thursday and Monday night as well. It's gonna be a one hell of a week. I can guarantee you that. And next week is gonna be even crazier. It's gonna be very crazy. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Whenever, whenever that is, and talk to y'all later.